in the torture this poor girl Anne Marie because she had worked in the underground church. She was happy to be in the hands of the torturers. She said to herself, these torturers, they never come to any church, to any religious gathering. They never read a Bible or any other book of religion. They, they, don't, they can't get saved. They, they will not know about God. The only possibility for them to hear about God is that they should arrest us and beat us. And then between two beatings, we can speak to them. That will be their salvation. So she used every pause between two tortures, every interruption, every break which the torturer took, he got also tired with beatings. And she tried to speak to him about God. And uh, he just laughed about her. She said, Sir, when you beat me, I look to your hand. I will tell you what no girl ever has said to a man. I will tell you, here we are in special circumstances. You have a very beautiful hand, sir. I imagine your wife, how she enjoyed it when you caressed her. It's caressing, not better than beating. Such a beautiful hand to use it for beating. Caressing is much better. And how your wife must enjoy it when you give her a kiss. Now, is kissing not better than swearing? and saying foul words and shouting at us. You use these beautiful lips and this tongue of yours, which is made for kissing and for embracing. You use it for such bad things. Sir, leave be beating and leave swearing and begin caressing and begin kissing. Isn't that not much more beautiful? He gave her a, a box. She fell. She again stood up and she said, I see you don't wish to listen to me. I will tell you just one short word more. Every boyfriend, no, every girl praises her boyfriend. But my boyfriend is something entirely special. He's not like other boyfriends. He's love him, himself, he's beauty himself, he's, he's everything, he's everything. And since I know him, he has shed his love in my heart. And since I, I know him, I can only love. If somebody caresses me, I love him. If somebody beats me, I love him, I can only love. He said, don't speak to me such stupid things. He gave her a, again a box here in the temple. She fell on the concrete of the cell and passed out. When after a few moments she came to herself, she saw him sitting in an armchair. And he said to her, you stupid girl, who is this boyfriend of yours? I sit here and think about him. He must have taught you this, that kissing is better than swearing and caressing is better than beating. And love is better than hate. Who is this boyfriend of yours? It makes sense what he said. Who is this boyfriend of yours? So she told him the name of her boyfriend. You might have guessed it. Her boyfriend was Jesus. And he has taught me love. And not only that he taught me, he shed his love in my heart. And he asked, how can I become also a friend of this Jesus about whom you speak? He said, well, you can become a friend of his. If you repent of your sins, if you receive him with love, if you put your faith in him, and you must be baptized in his name, and then you are his friend. So he said, you baptize me. She said, I can't baptize you. A pastor baptizes, not a, a priest or so. I can't baptize you, which was not true, because everyone can baptize in such condition. I can't baptize you. Then the most amazing thing happened. He took out his revolver, pointed the revolver at her, and said, you stupid girl, you better baptize me. If you don't baptize me, I shoot you. He did exactly what Jesus had said in Matthew 10, that some take the kingdom of God by violence. <laughs> he wished to enter into the kingdom of God, even if he has to shoot one or two. And he dragged her to a pool, which was in the yard of the prison. He threw her in the water. He entered in the water. She baptized him, and he became a very good believer. He risked his life and liberty. He freed her. There exist such Jewish believers who are ready to give their lives who gives them liberty, and to even in the worst of conditions think only about one thing, how to make Jesus known to the other ones, his love and his goodness. Amen.